Hello, welcome to blog web 6 org In today's video, we are going to move our localhost WordPress uh, blog to server using a plugin. So, uh, let me close my blog first. And this is the plugin. It's called Duplicator, and it's very nice plugin. I usually do manual um, transfer from localhost to um, web server, but this plugin, I tried this plugin, and it actually helps. And uh, it also has nice video how to actually quickly do it uh, video blog. So uh, let's get started. First, we want to move this local host and then forward slash blog web 6 move to our web server. As you can see, I have here recent post, an image, and uh, some social media icons there, and then some post images here, as you can see. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move this localhost installation to our web server, so wphowtosite.com. So you will need a domain and a host. In this demo, I'm using HostGator and you can use any host that you prefer, but uh, in this demo, I'm using HostGator. So let's get started. First, we go to log in to our localhost installation uh, dashboard. So there I am already. And then we go to plugins and add new. And we're going to search for duplicator. And it's uh, created by live in the grid here. And then I'm going to install now. If you like to be having a best practice, you're going to click on details. But for now, I'm just going to click install now button. Click OK. And then when it's installed, you're going to activate the plugin. Click that. So as you notice, once the plugin is activated, you see that you have addition uh, menu here. It's called Duplicator. And what you're going to do is we go to Duplicator and then Packages. Click on that. And then here it says that no package found because we haven't created one. The next is we're going to create new tab here on the top. Click that. And here we're going to name it. Uh, anything you we like, but I suggest you to name it the uh, similar to your blog so it's easy to use. So mine it's called blog web six org, and I want to uh, s to type similar in this uh, URL. So blog web six move, okay? And the purpose uh, moving. And here for the archive and installer, you actually don't have to go there, but uh, to make sure it's uh, we have the right format here dot zip. And then for the installer, and same for the installer, I will not go uh, change the installer. And once we uh, type these two things, that the most important thing, and then we click on next. And scan is complete, so it's actually scanning our uh, blog. It uh, shows sometimes warning, something like this, if you have huge file to transfer, or something like that. And then uh, when it says it's all good, we're going to click on build. And then now the package is complete and it's ready to uh, download them. So first I'm going to download the installer. Just click on that installer blue button. And the next I want to uh, download the archive. So now once you download all of them, it depends on uh, where you save your download um, stuff in your computer. Mine save on my desktop, so I'm going to go to my desktop and there it is. the file that we've just created and downloaded. It's called uh, some date here and then our blog name here that we typed earlier and archive.zip file and installer.php. So we've done it. Next is we're going to upload all of this to our web server. So let's get started. We're going to, uh, let me close this local host first. And now we're going to log into our cPanel. So I assume that you can already log into your cPanel. And the next is we're going to file manager here and make sure that the domain is right. My domain is a uh, wbhowtosite.com, so it has to be the same. And then hit go. Now, as you can see, I have this kind of folders and files, and uh, yours might look different. But the most important is we're going to upload these two files. So we're going to click on upload button there. And then choose file and upload first the .zip file and then click open. So when it's um, uploaded, next is we're going to upload another file, the installer.php. So we're going to click on choose file again and then click select on installer.php and then click on open. And it should be 
done in a very short moment and as you can see both files are completely um, uploaded so we're going to back to our public HTML folder there it is and the next is uh, we need to create new database for this uh, installer so we're going to close this and go back to our home C panel again and here we're going to type in find SQL and we create uh, we click on MySQL databases here so we haven't any database here so we're going to create new database and we're going to name it WP how to as uh, DB for example of course choose anything you like and it's something that hard to guess there and then create database so hit go back and scroll down and next we need to add new user here for our database so we're going to uh, type in some username here username something and as you can see I have this username and the password I use a uh, password generator copy this so open your text editor or any um, text editor you have and then uh, some character number and okay and select all minimize that hit cancel and then paste it here both paste it and then create user hit go back and then we need to add the user to the database so the user that we've just created and the database we've just created click on add button click on all privileges and click on make changes button and hit go back okay so the user is already added to the database next is we go to our domain whatever your domain is and then hit refresh and as you can see, you can see the .zip file and then the installer.php. You can click on that installer.php or you can type it manually. So youdomain.com and then forward slash and then um, installer.php and then hit enter. And this will bring you to the WordPress duplicate plugin. So the host name it should be localhost and if it's not localhost you should contact your host and then the name we go back to our cPanel again and in this area that we've just created this is the database name so copy this and go there again and this is the name paste it here and then the user is under the user tables copy this or so comment and see to copy that and go here again and user paste it here okay so make sure there is no space and the password it was in text edit copy this password and paste it here and then click on test connection and when it says everything is success here then we can continue so you can uh, you can read here and then hit close and next is the events options actually you don't have to touch this so and this is the warning and notices so once you read it you can click on I have read all warnings and notice and uh, the notice and then run deployment hit OK so in this page you can see old settings and new settings which actually you don't have to do anything here so next is we're going to click on run update button here so when process is done, you should see this kind of uh, uh, menu here. So you can read on install report, you can uh, save permalinks to update the permalinks and test site and so forth. So uh, what I'm going to do is going to test site because I'm so curious what it is like in my new site. And, and the old site, this is the local host. And I have a menu here, the widget on the left area, and then the menu here. So really, really the same thing here. The image and the featured uh, content and also the, uh, ima uh, the social media icons there, which I also have it in localhost. So basically it's very same and uh, it's the same with the localhost installation so let's click on one of our posts to see everything is working here page 
and everything is working here. So basically, when everything is working, you can then uh, save your permalinks if you like. So let's click on that and let's uh, let's see what happened. And the permalink, it's the same. We just post name and close that again. Everything is okay. And now, uh, if you like, you can also read the install report and you're going to read what it is and um, test site we did it already and now we're going to uh, click on file clean up because uh, if we go to our C panel now and then click home and then we go to file manager go to our domain and as you can see uh, this dot zip file is actually extracted from the plugin and extract all the files that we had in our um, localhost installation to be here and now we need to remove this uh, archive.zip file so we go back to our uh, installer.php again where duplicator installer uh, page is and then we're going to click on file clean up and hit OK it's all removed as you can see so now we don't have any uh, any files that people can actually download from our cPanel. So everything is okay. So uh, next is you're going to close this uh, installer. So now we are in a new site. If you go to plugins and the duplicator plugin is actually there. Now you can either deactivate or uh, leave it there but I would personally deactivate if you don't need it anymore. So less plugins is uh, definitely better. So I'm just going to deactivate it for now and let's see what happened. And then I'm going to just hit delete and delete all the files and data and let's see now what is now happening in our uh, cPanel. And yes everything is deleted from our cPanel and uh, let me check on my database and let's see if our duplicator plugin is also removed from the database and so the duplicator plugin it's all uh, removed also from the database so that's basically is how we can use duplicator plugin to move from localhost to uh, live server. So in the next videos, I'm going to show you how you can do it manually because uh, I'm personally still think that manually, um, manually doing this process is just the best. So thank you so much for watching and please like this video if it was useful for you and take care of yourself. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.